Now it's second day here at the Psycho Open Weeks 2022. And it's, I mean, I must admit that yesterday was extremely exciting. We were also a little bit tired because we made so many interviews, but we continue today. And uh, the first gentleman we're going to talk to is one from uh, Itaka. Yes. Exactly. And uh, you can both pronounce your own name and your company name better, but even more important, you can also tell us what you do. Yeah, okay. I'm uh, Juan uh, Castells uh, and, and I'm uh, uh, from Itaca. Itaca is a company that is uh, producing uh, pigments, uh, initially in organic pigments uh, for the ceramic sector. Let's say this is our core business. And uh, well, uh, we can say that today we are a leading uh, company uh, in the manufacture of these uh, inorganic pigments. Okay, mm. uh, that uh, long and proven expertise uh, has given uh, to us that uh, chance to uh, promote uh, uh, those uh, pigments in in some other sectors. And because of that, we are now today uh, producing inks, uh, and, and we started with inorganic inks. In, in the ceramic sector, and then after we are uh, capable to uh, go to some other markets uh, uh, different from from the mm -hmm. ceramic mm -hmm. sector. Okay. Uh, well, when I, when you talk about uh, the the cer uh, ceramics and tiles and and, and all these uh, wonderful uh, things that we use in our houses and our businesses and shops and everywhere, I was just thinking. Um, I mean. Am I wrong if, it, if I say that a lot of the, the, the tiles in the past were, were printed with uh, either in flexography or in, in, in analog technologies, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. But, but, the, but, the, but the, the tile industry has been actually very fast of adapting digital technology, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we, are, we are back to the year 2000, that mm -hmm. is uh, when the conversion from the uh, analog decoration move to that uh, uh, digital uh, decoration it mm -hmm. was uh, let's say uh, quite fast mm -hmm. uh, and and because of that uh, well uh, we we got uh, a lot of uh, uh, experience and and today we could uh, now uh, say that uh, uh, some other sectors uh, they don't know mm -hmm. the advantages and virtues of, of that uh, digital decoration mm -hmm. and and we are trying to uh, promote that uh, digital decoration in, mm -hmm. in sectors like uh, uh, the vinyl mm -hmm. i mean the non porous uh, substrates mm -hmm. uh, things like uh, lvt spc aluminium uh, board <coughs> things uh, that we are today in this machine yeah. uh, uh, decorated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, when you when you move from let's say you move from ceramics and to and from um, from uh, porcelain and to to uh, other substrates, of course you test it uh, before you bring it to market. But how big a difference is it when you look at the components in a in an ink uh, and and the, and the, and all the components that makes it durable and make you know all the things that you know about? Yeah. I was just thinking, how difficult <clears throat> is it to to move it from technology-wise from one segment in the market to another product type in the market? Well, of course, uh, when you move uh, from one industry, like the ceramic industry, to some other uh, sectors like uh, the uh, non porous substrates, uh, the nature mm -hmm. of the inks uh, change uh, slightly. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say uh, technically uh, no, 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 and no, no. full yeah. in, in, in details, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, there's a big change uh, in, 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 term, in terms of uh, nature, in terms of composition, in terms of uh, uh, equipment to be used, uh, not yeah, only so, for the so inks, but also for, for the rest of the it. chemicals that you had to use in, in, the, in the layout. And that uh, requires a lot of uh, effort, but uh, we, we are there, yeah. we are, we are, we're trying. The reason why I'm asking about this is because I'm a little bit curious, because I would, maybe it's stupid me, but I would have thought that when you look at tiles and if you look at vinyls, if you look at flooring materials in general, I thought it was so high volume that it was still more feasible to do in analog. But what you're saying is basically that the advantages of doing it in digital uh, exceeds the potential cost difference, right? Or yes. Yeah. Well, uh, there are so so many advantages. Uh, the first is the the advantage. Uh, I mean, the aesthetic uh, advantage. It looks better. Uh, it uh, looks, looks better. Okay. Looks uh, much much better from the uh, analog to to the to the digital. Yeah? Then uh, there are um, some other uh, aspects like the uh, yeah, you don't uh, have the forms. operating cost is that uh, yeah because when you have a startup with an analog, you need to have forms for each color and you need to have a lot of proofing before you have the right uh, yeah. design on, yeah. on the tile, yeah. for example. Yeah. Yeah. And here you can basically test it and if it yeah. works, exactly. you go. Exactly. Think that uh, sometimes uh, this is a, a, a touchless uh, decoration, so 
for certain substrates, uh, this is a, a, an incredible advantage. You, you can decorate any any surface. We have a slogan in, in our company that uh, any surface can be decorated. Mm. Okay, so uh, we are decorating flat surfaces. So you're looking, for, so you're looking for customers everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flat surfaces, uh, structured uh, surfaces, and 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 yeah. Mm. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, optimizing, uh, cost cutting, uh, aesthetic advantages. There are so many. One, I was just thinking that you know when you make a flooring material, it needs to be very durable because you walk at it and you have a different. Uh, Rather than on the wall, you don't walk on it. So, what, what is, is it the digital and the, uh, the inkjet uh, thing? Is that as good, or how is that? Yeah. Well, uh, in terms of um, technical properties, uh, we are quite strict. Uh, whenever we develop a, a product for a new project, uh, there's a uh, one uh, process, which is the first uh, one, the validation of that uh, product. So we, we want to make sure that the, once we come out to the market, that the product is going to be uh, there mm. and technica technically is mm. gonna is gonna be addressed. Mm. Okay. Mm. So all of the chemicals that we are using in, in the line, they are well proved and, mm. and, and very much uh, tested. You mm. know, uh, we have uh, such a long queue of uh, yeah, uh, yeah. lab tests uh, yeah, that uh, yeah. to pass uh, yeah. and validate. All right. So. Um, when you have uh, all these, uh, I mean, when you have the manufacturing of the pigments and you have the abilities to produce all these uh, inks that can be used on different uh, surfaces, uh, when you go to market, what is the biggest challenge? Is it, is it uh, con con uh, convincing uh, traditional industry to change or is it, is it more just something that naturally will change over time? Or, or yeah, what yeah. Is you're, the you're right. We have uh, different uh, profiles of uh, potential customers. Mm. Uh, we have those customers that they don't know anything about mm. uh, so digital decoration. Zero, and this basically. is uh, yeah. starting from scratch, mm. and you have to go there. Uh, you are like an angel, you know. <laughs> you are you are like uh, saying, uh, "Look what you 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 can do mm. uh, with uh, this uh, digital decoration." Mm. And some other sectors, they are already mm. uh, uh, decorating uh, either analog or uh, uh, by uh, digital uh, equipments. Mm. But uh, in 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 those guys, uh, then. Uh, our uh, implementation is uh, much, much uh, faster. Mm. Uh, sectors like um, SPC, LVT, all this uh, flooring that mm. they are already uh, they decorating already. In, a, in, a, in, a, in a different way, mm. uh, with a decor paper mm. or uh, some other uh, technologies. I don't want to say the uh, full details, OK? Mm. But uh, yeah, the, 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 the most difficult part is the, is the first one, uh, those who so are not uh, decorating at all, yeah. and you have to convince them, and you have to uh, uh, tell them about the uh, investment, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. durability, all those sort of things that are uh, really um, uh, worrying to those guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and of course, that's where the potential is, because I mean, otherwise, with the existing ones, you're probably in some kind of competition with competitors, right? Or I mean, you said that you were uh, a big company selling to the whole world. Is it is it a very competitive market to address, or is it? Uh, or how do you feel about that? Uh, there, there's a there's a, a bigger market in those guys that are already decorating okay. in an analog uh, yeah. way. Yeah. Okay, in yeah. the flooring uh, uh, sector, for example, uh, there are really really uh, big uh, volumes, and and this is where we wanna go and make that uh, conversion from the analog to the uh, digital uh, mm. technology. Mm. Okay, so that uh, that is a big potential, and we uh, we we're trying. We mm. we are. Um, we, we are already getting some projects, yeah. uh, but they are uh, kind of, uh, let's say, the uh, let's say the flagships, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and later on we will try to export and and, yeah. and get them. When we uh, actually got to know uh, Psycho uh, last year, maybe two years ago, uh, actually one of the things they they told us was that they were very strong in the in the tile uh, and and the ceramics market. Uh, yeah, they so are. is that also one of the reasons why you're here today, or? Yeah, well, uh, our um, relationship with Seiko is a long, long cooperation okay. uh, coming from uh, ceramics, uh, yeah. which is our core business. Yeah. And uh, yeah, their their print head, I think, uh, uh, we uh, as Itaka, we think this is a very flexible uh, mm. print head. Mm. Is quite uh, reliable. Yeah. And and well, uh, things like this, uh, events like like this, uh, they are uh, perfect. This mm. is the perfect uh, situation where uh, we have the print head manufacturer, yeah. the OEM yeah. uh, manufacturer, yeah, yeah. and the ink manufacturer yeah. who can gather. Yeah, uh, in, 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 room, in the same basically. place yeah. and bring uh, yeah. the potential customers to solve all that uh, questions, doubts, uh, and, uh, 
So, so what? this is, uh, I mean, so this is an opportunity for all involved because basically, if you want to sell your uh, your inks to a potential customer, you can bring him or her here. Yeah. They can see that okay, both the, the OEMs and the printhead manufacturers Correct. and the ink manufacturers basically work to basically show and prove exactly. that it's a exactly a, a, exactly. Uh, and this kind of machines, uh, this mm. is the ink tester. It's very important for for your job, right? It's uh, loaded with our uh, UV inks, yeah. and and we are printing in this case uh, mm. two kind of substrates. Mm. Uh, is alum- this uh, your print? Yeah, yeah. Those are our uh, oh, uh, our products. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They are uh, both uh, aluminium board, aluminium oh. plates. So you make uh, flooring and, and of aluminium SPC, plates? SPC, this is the vinyl uh, product, okay? okay. So uh, both uh, products uh, mm-hmm. we can print in this uh, ink tester. Yeah, so you test to test the material and how the ink and the print heads work. E- exactly, yeah. and the customer comes here and, and right in the spot, uh, he could see the how the UV inks are uh, functioning. Yeah, yeah. So you have the, the, the finished product uh, technically and aesthetically in a single pass process yeah. because this is a single pass uh, printing uh, machine. Yeah. And well, uh, this it is looks, uh, uh, really nice. I mean, yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. I mean, is, of course, yeah. uh, I mean, this is an example of uh, what I was uh, saying. They, yeah, yeah. they are today uh, decorating analog in an analog uh, yeah. uh, and way. And I mean, if you do this in an analog way, in, in this With example, you would have to have maybe multiple browns and then you would have white and you would have red, so there's a forms for avocado. Well, actually, uh, there's not a, a big difference uh, between okay. analog and, 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 and digital decoration. Okay. Okay. It, it's more on, on the operating Okay, uh, so that is where uh, the big difference is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, because you're decorating a direct to a substrate. Yeah. And, and this is something that are giving you a lot of uh, uh, advantages. Uh, you have to uh, think that uh, uh, here we have a machine, the inks, and you get the, the finished product uh, right away. Yeah. Where when you are decorating this product, for example, with a, in an analog uh, way, yeah. you have to get the decor paper, yeah, yeah. big coils. Okay, so you basically the transfer stock it. is a huge stock, the one yeah. you have to maintain yeah, yeah, yeah. in your warehouse. So okay. this is a lot of uh, working capital okay, that, so you, that you're. Is, so that is not like the analog. It's not like a direct uh, to, to substrate. It's basically a, a kind of a transfer process. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. In uh, in this, uh, yeah, in this, in this type segment. of uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, product. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have, uh, I mean, because this is like for flooring, but you, I mean, this is art, so you can also do something that can be used for something that is entirely different, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, uh, the other type of product that I was uh, saying. This is uh, lo- uh, the, the so popular uh, Dibon. Yeah. This is the aluminum uh, yeah. uh, plate. Yeah. Okay, so uh, they are yeah, doing yeah. in a, uh, yeah, transfer paper, yeah. decor paper, okay? Yeah. They are just uh, simply uh, sticking that uh, to the, uh, aluminum plate, yeah. and we are doing here directly, yeah, uh, yeah. just uh, simply yeah, putting put that in, the, in yeah. the conveyor belt yeah. and, and printing that and yeah. getting the finished product uh, and, uh, by the way. And when when we go into like say now we tested it now we're ready to to start marketing. So if you go full scale with this, of course this is not the equipment you use for that. Is that like special equipment that you build for that particular manufacturer? Where you go, for example, to somebody who can. Uh, install and, and develop solutions specific for you for these type of customers. There's or? a lot of uh, 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 regarding the uh, printer machine. There's a lot of uh, OEMs okay. we are who specialize uh, call, in different sectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are collaborating with them yeah. in, in uh, with all of them, and yeah, and yeah uh, uh, they they are uh, they have the, the this uh, printer from yeah. Seiko. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, so this is a typical that is setup the, that the Seiko printhead is, is Seiko used is for selling uh, yeah to the OEMs the, and then the printhead to uh, many OEMs yeah. and we are cooperating with uh, with all of the yeah. OEMs. Yeah, yeah. Quite an interesting market, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what do you do? Are you are you the ambassador for the for the new technologies? Yeah. Well, I'm uh, the person in charge for this uh, building materials yeah. in in our uh, diversification uh, division in, mm. in the in the group. Mm. This is one of the uh, three branches. Uh, okay. We have uh, building materials, yeah. uh, textile, yeah. and uh, packaging. Okay. And and I'm responsible for building materials, and, and we and, think and there's that, a big potential. And that is of course the most fun thing, right? Mm. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. the funniest thing. It is right. Okay, is, yeah. great, Juan. It was right. great to see you. Yeah. You're going to home to Spain today, or are you? No, no, no. I'll be uh, here in Germany until in Germany. Friday. Okay. Yes, yes. Moving around, driving uh, north ways, uh, south ways. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Moving. Good to meet you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. It was a pleasure.